Amin houses again. Uh, spoiler alerts, I didn't say. But first, the reason I left this flat was because we had a mouse problem, which was a big no-no for me. But I was lucky enough to find a studio, and it was honestly so decent. But the issue is I was living on the ground floor, which I didn't think was an issue before, but people kept passing by, especially because the building's door was just after my apartment. But that's fine, because people are curious, and I can accept that. But some guys decided to station in front of my window one time and they tried to chat me up even if I was minding my own business. And then another time, two guys kind of followed me to my place and I had to pass by my own door so that they wouldn't know exactly where I live. And another time, or a couple other times, I had a neighbor who kept coming to my door. I don't know if I felt inviting, but I really didn't want him to be there. So... <laughs> I had to leave, but uh, I did have really good memories there. I spent the lockdown, but I still decided not to buy a lot of furniture because I knew that I was going to leave and there was no point for me to organize stuff around a flat I was eventually gonna leave. That said, it was situated in Stratford and I was only paying £820 per month without the bills. And let me tell you, that is a steal. And when I compare it to my previous flat, I was paying 200 pounds less to live with someone else. So for me, it was a real bargain. But at the end of the day, what is a bargain if I don't even feel good? I want to furnish my flat right now, but I might actually move out again next year. I'm here. <laughs> By the way, this is so far into the future, it's like a year and a half after, but let's start from the beginning, shall we? I saw this flat two months before I was supposed to actually move in, and it actually came back on the market just before I was about to move in. There was like an issue that happened in the two months periods I had seen it that prevented anyone from moving in here. And then it was available for me. And the funny thing is that my apartment, the studio you just see, the same kind of thing happened. And I'm like, the things that are meant for me are meant for me. I'm like, <laughs> but anyway, I before that I had seen a couple of apartments, and the first one was 20 minutes from East Finchley Station. It was facing west in the living room and east in the bedroom, and it was 1100 pounds per month without the bills. The thing is, the day I actually wanted to make an offer, it was the day someone had made an offer, literally just before me. And the same happened with the next flat, which was in Maida Hill, and I felt in absolute love with the neighborhood. The flat, not that much, if I'm being honest, but the neighborhood would have made up for it. And it was on the first floor, it was very central, and same again, 11,000 a month. And I used the seams like I always do to figure out the layouts and see how I could fit the furniture I had an eye on. You know what, since I'm here, I might as well show you the seams rendition of this flat, of the idea that I had for here. Well, this is a spoiler alert. <laughs> I hadn't realized. Oops. Literally, any flat I have been in, I have used the seams to help me figure out how to furnish it. And it's been a tremendous help. Anyway. Here's the Sims. So you have the entrance here and then go into the bathroom. Nothing really changed, but I like to put it on the Sims anyway. But then what changed the most was the living room and the layout that I have made is the layout that I kept at the end. Some things didn't work, so I had to change my mind about it or improvise or whatever. But that's pretty much the idea of how my flat ended up. And look at me, spoiler alert, the couch. <laughs> anyway, so many adventures happened and I'm just gonna let you enjoy it from the beginning. <laughs>
gonna make the order next week, I think, and from then it's gonna take from eight to ten weeks to arrive. Um, the wardrobe is arriving in two weeks. The couch probably, like I say, nine weeks from now. Um, then I've got the chairs for the table that are gonna arrive from the moment I order them five weeks, probably seven weeks from now. So gradually I'm gonna receive things and I'm just so excited. two shelves and just for now because if I have more options I'll be very happy but it's either too expensive too large too narrow to something <laughs> I'm trying to look from this side how it would look I put sticks on there to replicate this <laughs> so tough this is not bad right I'm gonna draw the other one I don't know, even after doing all this. The problem with the funny shaped one is that it's all open and I have stuff to hide. As in, stuff to hide. <laughs> like I've been looking for months, maybe for a year, because I've been looking since last year. And it's just very difficult to come across these kind of things. Like, the right dimensions. <laughs> That's the other one. So it took that long to arrive. And now I guess we have to start over the process. Wait, I'm going to explain your com complaint to us. Oh, okay. Uh, I will raise a claim with a hey. Yeah, true, true. Okay, I'm going to do that and then we'll talk um, by email. I want to buy this for here, but there's nothing to hide this. So I've been looking at something that would fit and this is the one 
I like the most. This would fit good and I wanted to have oak to lighten up a little bit this room because everything is walnut. Walnut, walnut and super dark. I don't know what. I am supposed to wait. I'm saying I'm supposed to wait because I'm supposed to see if I really want it but if anything I'm gonna sell it. I just, I just don't want to see the mess here anymore. Okay, let's do it. Okay. I've done this wrong! <laughs> Everything is going fine! This railing thing, I put it on top where it's supposed to be on the bottom. So I'm going to have holes here. And it's not going to be very aesthetic. In this whimsical piece, Mama Mi Piace Il Ritmo. This time it works! Se vado a scuola, mi caccia fuori il professor. It's the wrong one. I've got a history for faulty something. Oh, I should get a call back sometimes. Maybe on Monday because now it's Saturday and not everything is open on Saturday, so. Yeah! Why didn't I So the plan is that they'll come back in two weeks because uh, the company that's delivering is not the company that I bought the thing from and uh, there's no turning back from now. So if I don't like it, it is what it is. So now... <laughs> They will attach it to a rope uh, over there and they will like bring it from downstairs because it just doesn't fit. It just doesn't fit. It's here for now and I will need to tell my neighbors that I'm keeping this here. I know it's a lot of negatives, but the one good thing about this is that I now have a contact. When I will need to move out of here and, or if I have any issue in the future with something I can't bring because it's too big, I can call him and he can do the rope thing and I can pay him. But I'm a bit, I'm not disappointed because at this point, like, <laughs> it's just happening all the time, I'm getting used to it. I just, like, it's just, gosh, I'm getting used to it. Anyway, I don't even have the words. My couch will arrive tomorrow, or will it? <laughs> How is your pillow? This way? How are we 
we doing things? Should I put books here? What books? What size? Should I put the big files? Should I put the big files down? Questions, questions. and I really like it and so far this is my favourite but not in this colour, I would have it in this oak colour never really liked this light, but there's nothing I can do about it, but I just had the idea to use a paper lamp shade and put it on top. Let's see if my idea will work. No, I've got to add the wire. Ah! Shoot. It's safe, I think. It's not bad. It's not good either. It looks... Them up and so that you can see how it's gonna look like. Oh. When I was at Bjorn, he had some paintings with a floating canvas and I just loved it. The red is really talking to me because when I draw it, it looks like it adds this pop of color. It's intense, it's, it has a purpose, it's like elevating it in some ways. I've got the samples. Yeah, I got three. Gosh, it's so difficult actually to have an idea. Right, let's check the first painting and how it would look like before I put everything in. Oh, this is a good damage, it's a perfect. <laughs> the dim white over is working. Do you remember the table put on a wall, someone removed it? Or the heat, it was too hot for it and he... Anyway.
these are done that was child's play just wanted to be very precise the wool is an issue because it's brick and last time i wanted to pierce through brick it literally required all my energy like i'm like exaggerating Wrong house! <laughs> I literally thought it was that one! Damn, it's massive! It's huge, isn't it? It is! It's like a Christmas present! I know! <laughs> oh, it looks like it was meant to be! <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Okay, so the tea is a mini. <laughs> so, so it's gonna be that for a minute. <laughs> Okay. This is, looks like an African continent. I don't have another time right now because I have a flight to catch, but I'm just so happy. <laughs> Look at that, it's on the wall. It's on the wall. <laughs> this is it. This is the end. I'm so grateful. I've been spending so much time making this my home and choosing everything according to my style and my preferences i'm so grateful i was given this opportunity before going full nomadic going to new york um i don't know if i'm staying there i might be going to paris come back to london barcelona whatever but i want to be flexible for my job uh, because i want to grow and i want to get my career booming so i've got to make the sacrifice of not having a home for a while and moving a lot i'm going to enjoy every last moment in this apartment as it's getting more and more empty but uh i've got this video to show me when it was full at least the next one because yeah i'm not going to film the tour now because I feel this video is too long, so it's gonna be in a separate video, but I'm, you're gonna see it pretty soon because I'm already working on it and it's not gonna take long to finish it. But yeah, I will have this video to look back at the whole process of it coming together to this point and the tour, the finished products of how much I could do because there are still stuff missing, like this wall could have had some art and I was supposed to have a plant under um, the faces painting but I'm moving, <laughs> I'm not gonna buy new things now I am fulfilled in a way and if you went to this point of the video well thank you for being that interested in my journey I'm just so grateful that's it